Hi everyone, I hope you all had a wonderful 4th of July weekend and enjoyed it as much as you could. So today we're going to be learning about a place to worship and it comes from the um, book of Exodus and it's from chapters 25 through chapter 7. And if you don't know, we're actually reopening Children's Church. So if you don't have a chance to go this weekend, definitely sign up for next weekend because there are limited slots due to COVID. So please sign up and come. Um, we would love to have your kids there. And even if you don't have, um, even if we do run out of space for school age kids or preschool or nursery kids to come, we would still love them in the sanctuary so that you and your family could worship with your ABC family. So today we're going to learn about that and how God told people to worship him and, um, in order to tell other people to worship him. So, um, this story is called, um, the tabernacle was built and, um, so we're going to read off of this picture right here. I don't have the book today. We're going to read off this picture. God's people, the Israelites, were traveling from Egypt to a special land that God promised to give them. God chose Moses to lead his people. God wanted the people to have a place to worship him. God told Moses to make a special tent called a tabernacle. The tabernacle would be a place where the Israelites could worship God. The tabernacle would go with them as they traveled. God told Moses to take up an offering to build the tabernacle. Moses told the people, Let everyone whose heart is willing bring an offering to the Lord. The people brought precious metals like gold, silver, bronze, and other gems. They also brought materials like linen, goat hair, and leather. They brought fabrics dyed blue, purple, and red. They brought wood, oil, and spices. God chose Be Bezalel and Ohilab to build the tabernacle. It filled God's spirit. He was an artist. He had the ability to make every kind of craft. Craft. Ohiliab was also gifted by God to do beautiful work with the gemstones and fabrics. He gave Bezalel and Ohilab their, and their helpers the understanding to know exactly what to do and how to build the tabernacle. They worked very hard in the construction. The people continued bringing their offerings, offerings and building supplies. They bought, brought so many supplies that Moses had to tell the people to stop bringing the offerings. There were more than enough supplies. The tabernacle included items that the people used to worship God. They built, helped build the people their tent, the Ark of the Covenant, the table, the la lampstand, the altar of incense, the altar of burnt offering, and the bronze basin. They also made special clothing for the priests to wear. The Israelites built the tabernacle exactly like God had told them. And when they finished their work, Moses inspected the tabernacle. He found that he had, they had followed all of God's instructions. Moses blessed the people and their work. So in this, we learn that God instructed the Israelites to build a tent in order for people to be able to go and worship God. And so he asked everyone for offerings and everyone for supplies because he needed help because <clears throat> he wanted these two men to build the tabernacle and he wanted all the people in the town who were going to go there to help get all the supplies in order for them to do so. So all these people brought all these supplies but then they had too many. So Moses who was in charge had to tell everyone to stop bringing supplies because they had too many and so they had more than enough supplies and they were able to build a tabernacle and they built the lampstand, the altars, the bronze basin, and they had enough fabric left over to be able to build the clothes for the priests. So because everyone had helped in building this tabernacle, it was a lot of teamwork, and they were able to build the tabernacle. So to us, the tabernacle would kind of be known as a church, and that's where we go every single Sunday, and that's where you go. Um... To worship God and that's our tabernacle because we have a place where we go on Sundays and we're able to worship God and because we're so blessed you can have any place in your house to worship God so maybe you worship God in your bed so every night before bed you pray and you pray and you pray or you like to sing maybe your place to worship God is in the car because you like to listen to worship music wherever it may be you have a place to worship God because God loves you and you love God. And so it's super important to find that place. And it's okay if it's just the church, 
but you can make it anywhere you want because that's the beauty of God and having a place to worship. So that is what we learned today, and I hope you guys are able to join us next Sunday and the Sundays to come, um, and definitely, hopefully, with um, COVID opening up a little bit more, <laughs> opening things up a little bit more, we can have more um, kiddos join us, but definitely make sure to sign up um, so that they can be in the class, and if not, definitely bring them to church um, if you're comfortable with it, because we would still love to have them. Um, and we'd love to see all your faces. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. And I will see you guys next Sunday. I hope you guys have an awesome week.